Well, good morning, everybody. This is Ken with Beagle Family Fun, and um, I'm going to do an unboxing of the FLIR 1. Um, I got this last night. Um, <clears throat> the main reason I got it was to kind of help out. Uh, we're fixing to do some insulation in the house. Um, so that we got it, I got it for that, but I also got it for my bees. Uh, I've been doing some, been kind of worried, I only have two hives, and I don't want to, with the cold weather, I don't want to take anything off. I don't want to take um, and get into them too much right now. I'm new to beekeeping, um, but I also have a friend of mine that uh, has a friend that was. Uh, that knows somebody that has a some bees in a garage and he's asked my help to go and get the bees out we've already talked to the homeowners <clears throat> we don't know how far the bees go up um, they go in through a window seal and pretty much go up it's gonna be a whole new video but I wanted to get something to where we could see inside or see how high the heat signature goes um, because the bees come in at a certain level we we, we can kind of see downward um, through a hole that there is some new comb but there's also a lot of old dead comb um, so we kind of need to kind of know what we're getting into we want to see how far the bees go over uh, from that hole um, so I decided to see about getting one of these I'm not sponsored by FLIR 1 this is strictly my opinion uh, they did not send me this I bought this so um, this is my personal opinion of FLIR 1. I have two cameras set up. I'm hoping that the other camera catches what this camera with my cell phone doesn't camera catch. Um, I'm working off cell phones right now, so uh, we'll see how everything goes. But this is the FLIR 1, and I got it off of Amazon. <clears throat> it's the FLIR 1 Pro LT, and it's for Android. Um, they have different ones that are, there's one for ISO, uh, this one is for the uh, USB-C, uh, and then there's the one for the USB Mini. So make sure you, if you're going to get one of these, make sure you get the one for your device um, so you know what's going to happen. I have not downloaded the app or anything like that, so I don't know how I'm going to do that with the phone. Um, I'll probably catch it off the second camera I have set up right here. But uh, yeah, let's let's do an unboxing and see what's all inside and what all you get with the FLIR 1. All right, so the box is pretty simple. Um, it's small. It's not that big. Um, we're going to go ahead and try to open it up and get it opened. There you go. Um, it looks like it's been opened before. but So we open it up. It comes in a nice little... Um, box says FLIR. Um, we'll open up the safety tape there. That's pretty cool. Looks like got magnets on the inside to kind of close the box. That's you may steal that. Take the magnets out. You open it up, and you have all the directions. Uh, a little manual on the inside on how to use, which is good. I'll read that in a second. The camera itself, I don't know if you can see that, comes inside. It has two camera systems on it. One's the actual flare and one's the actual camera. Uh, the scroll wheel here, which is pretty cool, allows the USB-C to go up and down. So if you have a different type of uh, phone charger or a case on your charger or on your phone, you can adjust the length and the depth of your USB or your connecting device to go up and down to where it will slide into the phone, which is pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Let's see. Simple box. Let's inside here, you get a case. Oh, that's nice. 
So you get a case that you could put your phone in or your charger, the camera in, and to where it's secure and you could put it in your pocket or whatever. So that's pretty neat. Looks like it has a pack. I guess that would be for the, and that's what this is, the charging system. I do know that uh, doing some other reviews and looking at it, the camera itself, the, the actual thermal imager does not connect or does not use your phone battery. Um, it has its own internal battery source. From what I understand, it takes about 40 minutes to charge fully and you have about an hour's worth of constant video or constant uh, thermal imaging um, through your phone. So uh, I'm gonna kinda check that out. I'm gonna have to charge it, make sure everything's good on it. Um, so yeah, it looks like it comes with a USB to USB-C charger and it's a pretty lengthy charger. I'm gonna try to get it all in, it's pretty, Pretty long, I'd say about three foot or two foot for sure. About two foot. Um, and let's see what else. That's it. It's pretty simple, straightforward. I do know you have to download the app, so uh, or an app. So I will download the app on my phone, and then I will come back and um, show you guys what all that takes place with. Okay, everybody, we're going to um, Okay, everybody, we're going to download the app and see how to set this thing up. I'm doing the installation now. It's under FLIR 1 Pro. So we're going to open it up. It says, Welcome to FLIR 1 App. Um, discover the tips and tricks. Enter. I guess you need to hit the OK. Next. Next. Let's go back. Next, hit done. Uh, you can take video. Cool. I'll download videos with it. Got it. And you must give it permission. So, so let's go ahead and adjust this because it's not on there right now, and it's asking permission to connect to the FLIR which um, I have not got it on the device yet so we need to raise it up just a little bit more this is really neat I like that okay hit allow and turn it on oh yeah you got to this is, uh, it doesn't just automatically come on. So I've connected it and I've turned it on. It is trying to connect. Okay. And there we go. Wow. Pretty neat. Um, infrared. So I don't know if you can see that, which I'm going to try to figure out how to do the recording, but it does work. Um, that's my coffee cup right there. Oh, my hand's in the way. It's my coffee cup right there. Um, the FLIR box is right here. 
so let's see okay don't know what I just did there but um okay it takes pictures Calibration. Okay, so you can set the let's see. As a countdown, which I don't know what you would use that for. Take a picture. Tells you the degrees. Has a scroll on the side. Um, okay. Oh, that's good. So it tells you what the temperature is in Celsius, and I'm pretty sure we can change that settings, emissions, temperature units. Let's go Fahrenheit. Um, and we're going to go back. Yeah, so there you go. And now my coffee cup is showing right at 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to see if you can... Oh, I keep turning it off and I don't know why. Um, oh, here he goes. Okay, so there's an arrow that you click and you can actually take video and I'm going to go back to my coffee cup and there we go taking a little video of my coffee cup alright so I'm going to take this outside and go look at some bees and see what the bees are doing. So I currently have the thermal imager still hooked to my phone and we're going to go out and look at the bees. I'm just coming to get my coffee cup. And then we're going to see what the thermal imager does with the bees, uh, the bee boxes. Um, see how active they are, that kind of thing. Um, Hope everybody's having a good Saturday. Um, after this, I may start working on bee boxes. Uh, um, a bee vacuum. Let's see about getting that done. You have to excuse it. I got some people that are... My neighbors are getting their roof done right now. So. Let's see what happens here. Okay. And switch this off and go to the thermal imagers on the bees. So this is the back side of the bees. The front side. I think we'll have to wait till the sun is actually down to see how well it works because this is this is the side that's facing the bees. The sun is facing this side of the beehive. I'm showing a hundred and right at 115 degrees and on this one I'm showing right at 126 so
Well, guys, that's that's it for the unboxing. Um, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about it. Um, I'm going to use it a lot more and put it in as a few videos so you guys can kind of um, tell me what you think about it in the videos and stuff like that. I hope it works out. The, the, the sun is beating right down on the bees right now. Um, there's not that much activity through them. I'm, I'm scared I'm going to end up losing them, but if I do, we start over, start from scratch. There's plenty of bees out there, um, and hopefully I can just restart and, and get things going again. So, tell me what you think about the video. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind, please. Um, and if you don't, if you haven't already, subscribe. Um, I'd, I'd love to do some more of these unboxing videos. They're pretty cool. Uh, so let me know what you think, and I'll leave a link um, to the um, where I bought it from through Amazon and which one I got. And we'll see you later. I get no royalties off of Amazon or anything like that. So if you buy it, it's on your own. I don't get anything from it. So thanks, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, like I said, give me a thumbs up or subscribe. Appreciate it. Thank you.